Good day to everyone from CashBundle.com because nothing makes you more excited. On today's video, I'll be going over the recently announced Games with Gold for September of 2018. Are they trash garbage? And do I think that Xbox Game Pass is lowering the quality of the games we get for free with Xbox Live Gold? Thank you for joining me today. If you like what you're seeing, please make sure you give a little bit to the like, share, and subscribe button down below. If you have any questions, tips, comments, post them in the comments section now. Finally, the Games with Gold has been announced for September, <laughs> which is two days away. And the lineup is definitely a little bit, uh, well, it's a bit underwhelming if you're looking forward to any big AAA release. Now, granted, let me say one more time, as I've said in the past, I don't care if a game is AAA, AA, single A, however many A's. The quality of the game is what matters, okay? If they gave Dust an Elysian Tale, which was an amazing indie game made by one guy on the Xbox 360 on Games with Gold, that'd be freaking singing off the rooftops because it's an awesome game, all right? It doesn't matter. It's about good games. But that being said, it's also about games that are good and are proven. So, from September 1st to September 30th, we will get Prison Architect Xbox One Edition on Xbox One, in which... You have the job of designing a prison. Yeah, I just finished watching the last season of Warriors and New Black, so maybe this will be a good diversion. It's rated four stars in the Xbox Store, so maybe that'll be good. And on the Xbox 360 side, from September 1st to September 15th, you get LEGO Star Wars 3. The LEGO line of games have always been pretty good, rated pretty good, I should say. I've actually never played a single one of them. Uh, maybe I'll start at some point. Uh, September 16th to, through October 15th on Xbox One, we will get Live Lock. I'm, sure that's how I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced. Twin Six Shooter, single or cooperative. So I'm very much looking forward to that. I've always liked that type of game. Uh, it looks pretty good. I saw some of the screenshots. Uh, it looks better than the Assault Android Cactus game that was released in July. So there we go. And on Xbox 360, we will get Sega Vintage Monster Roll, which includes Alex Kidd, and I don't know what the other two are. Of course, the both Xbox 360 games are backwards, com are forwards compatible, or backwards compatible on Xbox One. So if you have an Xbox One, you get all four. If you have an Xbox 360, you just get the two. Although, why well, someone was loving Xbox 360 and Xbox Love Gold at this point? Yeah, that's a different question. But anyways, quality. Especially when you compare it to the PlayStation side, which is getting Destiny 2, which granted in of itself isn't really worth much these days. You could have gotten it for 10 bucks at this point, or <laughs> I think at some point it was you could only get it as an add-on item on Amazon. So this Destiny 2, the base game in of itself ain't worth too much, but it's still a pretty big release. And God of War 3 Remastered, which is a pretty big deal back when it first came out. But you could say last month we got Forza Horizon 2 on the Games with Gold, so there you go. But being that we're getting Halo the Master Chief Collection on September 1st on Xbox Game Pass, and I'm looking forward to whatever else we'll get, although if that's all we got, I wouldn't be surprised because it's a ma it is a major release. It's four games. Sorry. Uh, hopefully five games. <laughs> Might be just four. I don't know if it includes ODST. But a, a lot of talk and speculation is being, has, been, has been, I should say, around since Xbox Game Pass came out as to whether Xbox Game Pass itself will take the better games and leave Xbox Live Games with Gold out in the cold. I honestly believe, looking at trying to look at patterns myself, uh, if you don't remember also, in May, on Xbox Game with Gold, we got Metal Gear Solid 5, which coincidentally was available for a limited time on Xbox Game Pass at the beginning of the year. But last month we got Forza Horizon 2 and For Honor, technically two AAA releases. And we also got Doom and Rage added to Xbox Game Pass along with Dead Rising 3, Graveyard Keeper, haha, <laughs> and a few others. So my thoughts on it are honestly are this. I do not believe that Xbox Game Pass is poaching games from Xbox Game with Gold. What I believe is that it's different people running these divisions and for the most part they have no overlap. Now, is that a bit foolish? Yeah, it is. Uh, is there no calendar? Like, I'm sure that, like, is, do they not know what games are coming out in a given month? Like, how heavy September is? How heavy October is? Like, would they not focus more on the summer months? There's so many different variables and ways you could spin this. So many. So that's why I think that the most lo uh, realistic scenario is that they do not 
have anything to do with each other, that they look for deals differently, and that's why the game releases are so sporadic. That's why you'll have a, a period of 30 days where you could have gotten Metal Gear Solid 5 for free, and also recently got, because of the 3 Fallout, uh, Fallout 4, Elder Scrolls Online, a month later Fallout 3, on Game Pass and Doom and Rage, and then also you could have gotten For Honor and Forza Horizon 2 on Xbox Games with Gold. Again, it's what it boils down to is I feel like the Games with Gold crew is a bit inconsistent, and they need to step up their game because in order to compete with the, with their closest competitor, the PlayStation 4, which does have a larger variety of games, because with at least with their September. Uh, free games with PS Plus. God of War 3, you can't get that on Xbox. You could have gotten Destiny 2, but they also have a marketing deal with on PlayStation, so that's probably why it went to PlayStation. It makes more sense. So, Games with Gold crew, please step it up. Add more value to this free part of Xbox Live Gold. At this point, it's not a bonus. It's been going on for way more than a year. At this point, it is part of the sales process when you're selling Xbox Live Gold. So, hook it up and get some more games. Uh, recently, I got a reward for an Xbox Live Quest. I'm still trying to figure out which one it is. Not the reward, but for which quest it is. Once I have details or once I cannot figure it out, I will post a video. It'll probably be tomorrow. Uh, still waiting for more rewards since I know I did way more than one freaking quest. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Um... I was trying out a few other things around here, and yeah. So, thank you very much for joining me. Let's go out there, play some games, make some money, save some money, spend some money, don't get boned, get boning. <laughs>